Hello everybody, welcome to my 99 One at a Time Iron Man series. First and foremost, I'd like to say a huge thank you to my channel members. You guys are amazing. And just a brief introduction, we are currently trying to get 99 fishing. I've just got myself 91 fishing at Tempros. And at the moment, I'm just trying to finish some clues from the reward caskets that you get from the reward pool. So I am sincerely hoping that I can finish these clues and get some caskets. So let's get into the next episode of fishing. What do you mean I can't go through here? I thought if I had at least started Death Plateau, I'd be able to go through. This guy needs to chill out. Four fucking seconds! It took you four fucking seconds to piss me off again! Okay, because this is a hard clue, and I rarely get the chance to do any steps on a hard clue, I'm gonna try go the back way to Trollwise and go from the wilderness. I'm not sure if this works. I'm hoping it does, but we will see. Yeah, it looks like you can't access Trollwise from this side. It makes sense though, because then the whole quest would be pointless. Death Plateau, if you could just get to Trollwise from the wilderness. So yeah, it looks like we are dropping this hard clue. Okay, there we have an easy casket. At least we've had a few caskets from all these clue scrolls. And there is also a medium casket from these clue scrolls. What I'm gonna do is save all the caskets until we hit 99 fishing, and then I'm gonna open the caskets at the end. If you didn't already know, there is a dream gear list for range that I want to get before I get to range. And at the moment, we've only got a couple ticked off, so obviously I need the clue caskets to tick off some more. Okay, so we are a little strapped for cash, what I'm going to do is alk all these rune items and alk most of this jewellery, the ones that are pretty useless. And then obviously I'm going to save the jewellery that is useful, like the rings of recoil and the ruby necklaces and obviously the emerald rings. And hopefully we make a fair bit of cash from this because I always need cash to buy lore runes for all the farm runs. Right, there we go. We made about 700k, which is pretty decent for an Iron Man. And now what I'm going to do is just enchant all the jewellery that I want to use. Mainly it's teleport jewellery, but I'm also going to enchant some diamond jewellery for when I start doing some quests and start doing combat. Right, here we have our beautiful rings of recoil. The reason why these rings of recoil are so important are because there is a couple of quests that I can do where I can just recoil the boss down and complete the quest. The main quest I want to do is biohazard because then I can finally finish the easy our doing diary and I can get myself that beautiful Ardy cloak. We've only got 10 rings of recoil which isn't that many but it's about 400 points of health so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to kill a few bosses. Right here we are in the upstairs bit of biohazard. So for this guy all I need to do is talk to him and he finds out that I'm an imposter and then I just let him attack me and I should get the key. Round one, fight! There we go, that is his dumbass dead. And there we go, there is the key, so we can finally get this last little bit of apparatus to complete the quest. There we go, that is the king told that it's all a sham. And there we have biohazard finally complete. We get ourselves some fever and XP, which doesn't really make much difference, because I think I've got about 18 million fever and XP. But now we can finally enter the combat area and finally finish our doing easy diary. There we go, there is the beautiful Ardy cloak obtained. At the moment it's not really got a very good teleport, I can only teleport to the monastery. But when I'm doing clues and also when I'm trying to catch implings, a lot of implings spawn around the monastery. It is a very nice teleport. Right, we are here at aerial fishing. As you might be able to tell, we can catch sirens at aerial fishing because we are 91 fishing and obviously 99 hunter. And I've not really done this much in the past, so I'm gonna try and work out what the best way is. But yeah, we're looking to get about 400 mulch pearls. 
which I've worked out is going to be about 1.2 million fishing XP and about 1.5 million hunter XP. So yeah, with an average of about 40k XP an hour, we're going to be here for quite a while. There is another cheeky little snake destroyed. I don't know what was this snake's problem. Quit that. But that is another quest done thanks to the help of recalls. And also that is a boss ticked off the list for Nightmare Zone, which I'll be using a lot of in the far distant future. There we go. There is Depths of Despair complete. We get ourselves 1500 agility XP. Very nice. So like a dummy, I alked all my gold rings when I was doing my little alking session at the start of the video. So now the only way for me to get a golden ring, unless I get very lucky and get the pirate event and get a golden ring from that, is to get it from the King Black Dragon layer. So shout out to this dude, Deadly Adder, for killing the King Black Dragon and allowing me to pick up the gold ring without any hitches. I was fully expecting me to be killed by at least one of the demons outside or one of the spiders but no it went very smoothly and we managed to get that beautiful golden ring yeah. the reason why i needed the golden ring was for a casket and as you can see it was all worth it because we managed to get an easy casket from that ordeal very nice just whilst i'm here i might as well start the knight sword quest because that is the whole reason why I'm doing fishing and that is the whole reason why I'm going to get 99 cooking so I can actually complete this quest. We are back here at Aerial Fishing. We have got ourselves 100 mulch pearls. I'm not sure how long I've been here. It's taken me a while. I think in total it's going to take me about 30 hours to get the 400 mulch pearls. But what I'm hoping for is to get one of the golden tench fish rewards. This reward is just purely cosmetic, but what you can do is trade it in for 100 mulch pills, which I will definitely be doing. I want to spend as little time as possible at this hellhole. What the hell? No way! Well, there is level 92 fishing at Aerial Fishing. We've got ourselves so far about six to 700k fishing XP and close to a million hunter XP. So yeah, we've already been here for quite a while. I'm not sure how many pills I've got. I think I'm about halfway. But yeah, this is taking far too long. My strategy at the moment is to pick up a full inventory of the worms and then I drop about eight on the floor. And then once I free up enough inventory spots, I will pick up the eight and finish off all the worms. The worms deplete in a one in four chance. So on average, I get about 100 catches before I have to refill on the worms. But yeah, as you can tell, it is probably one of the worst things I've done so far. There is 200 pills collected. And also it's very rare, but we have got ourselves a clue. So what I'm going to do is try and complete this clue and hopefully get a beautiful casket. There it is guys, the beautiful golden tench. That has come at the perfect time because I think I'm at about 250 mulch pills. So when I trade that in, I'll be about 350 mulch pills. So it's just 50 more pills to go. I'm going to hold on to the golden tench for a little while though because it looks pretty cool when you're walking around slapping people around the face. <laughs> So, like a dumbass, I went AFK after I got poisoned by one of the lizard men over here. This is the quickest route for me to get to the aerial fishing after I do a herb run. But it is quite annoying because obviously I get poisoned. My heart also dropped because I thought I would lose all the mulch pills that I had on me. How many did I have? 270. If I'd lost all those mulch pills, I probably would have quit the series. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> This grind for the mulch pills has probably been one of the worst grinds, even though it's only about 30 hours. And also, I didn't realize at the time, but I had my rocky golem on me, and so I have lost that pet. I've not lost it, it's in the insurance place, but I need to pay 1 million GP to get it back. Right, we have got another hard clue. I'm pretty sure I can do this first step. I'm not sure how much damage you get done by the spiders or how much damage is dealt when you fall from the trap, but I'm going to try it nonetheless. Yeah, okay, you get one shot if you're 10 HP. Well, at least we know now. Okay, there we have 301 mulch pearls in our inventory. As you can see, I've still got the golden tench. I've had that for quite a while now, but now it is time to say goodbye to the golden tench 
and get ourselves 400 mulch pearls. There you are, sir. I would like to get my pearls. Thank you. So there we have it. We have finally purchased the angler's outfit. This took far too long. It was very hard to grind it out. I think I was doing one hour a day at some points. But yeah, we have finally got the angler's outfit. I don't care what people say, but that is way more annoying than getting the angler's outfit through the fishing trawler. Go on, lad. Knock his head off. This dude severely underestimated this stranger. Right, we are here wearing our beautiful full angler's outfit. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to catch a copious amounts of minnows. I'm not sure how many I'm going to get. I think I need at least 500,000 minnows to get enough sharks to help me get 99 cooking. But yeah, this is the first time I'll have done minnows. So I'm going to see what it's like. And if I like it, then I'll probably stay here for quite a while. There is our first 10,000 minnows. Ideally, what I want to happen at this place is for me to get the heron pet because this is pretty much going to be the last fishing what I do where I can get the pet. I don't think you can get the pet from Tempros, but I might be mistaken. So yeah, hopefully we get the pet whilst I'm here. Just looking at the herb tab, we are looking pretty healthy on herbs at the moment. What I'm going to do with these minnows is just leave all the herbs that I collect in my inventory so you can slowly see those stack up over time. But yeah, we've got about 5,000 ranas and almost 5,000 irits. So yeah, we're doing pretty well there. Okay, so unfortunately, I'm already bored at minnows. It's pretty AFK, but the clicking every 12 seconds, I think it is, is kind of annoying. So I'm going to try my luck at some caskets. Hopefully we can get something decent. I'm not even sure what I'm doing back here. I must be mad to be back in this place, in this hellhole. But yeah, there are a few more mining spots. But yeah, they've just updated the Muvlo mine. So that is the reason why I've came to have a look. What are you doing? Don't go up there. What are you doing, sir? There is level 93 fishing at Minnows. As you can see, we're closing in on 100k minnows. I was considering getting a million minnows, but that is far too many minnows and that is far too many sharks. I won't even cook half of them to get 99. So yeah, I'm gonna keep doing these minnows until I get seriously bored, but I need at least 500k, so that is probably what I will aim for. There is the first 100k minnows at minnows, obviously. So I did not actually manage to record it, but if you can see in my inventory, we have ourselves a magic short bell. What I've been doing just to break up the boredom is coming here to catch some implings, mainly dragon implings and ninja implings, but I did actually just see a lucky impling. So before I press record, I went to catch it and we have got ourselves a magic short bell. That is a massive game changer. That is one of the items off my dream gear list for range. But that is probably one of the best items I could have got. So I am very, very happy. As you can see, we've got ourselves quite a few herb seeds knocking around. I've been going to the master farmer every now and again, just collecting these herb seeds. What I'm considering doing because I'm running out of good herb seeds is I'm just going to use Harlander herb seeds and then I'm also going to use the Hosidious patch to grow the herb seeds that I need. So yeah, I'll probably end up collecting a couple of thousand Harlanders over the next couple of months. Harlanders will be pretty decent because I can just make chocolate dust and turn those into combat potions I believe. So yeah that will be some juicy herb lore XP in the future. There is 200,000 minnows collected. Very nice. And there we have 300,000 minnows collected. I want to get these minnows out of the way now so I'm trying very hard to finish them. As soon as we hit 500k minnows I am out of here. I can't actually believe how many bots are here. I'm pretty sure I'm the only real player here at the moment. But some of these people here have got close to 100 million fishing XP. I don't know how they've not been caught. One of these bots here has caught enough sharks to gain 1 billion GP. It's pretty insane. Jagex sort it out. There is 400,000 minnows collected and we've also got ourselves a cheeky clue bottle. Just 100,000 more to go and I think we'll get a cheeky level between now and then as well. There is level 94 fishing 
on the one skill at a time iron man we've not got long now we will be finished with these minnows very very soon so i was just about to do the most recent easter event and i found out that you actually gain cooking xp cooking xp from making these easter eggs jagex you should be ashamed i nearly ruined the account because you want to give people XP during these random events when you shouldn't be getting any XP. That's the reason why I do them. Jagex, sort it out. Calm down. Calm down. There we are, guys. 500,000 minnows has been fished. It's not even that many. I think it's about 10 to 12 hours of fishing minnows, but it felt like 100 to 120 hours. So yeah, let's get this exchange for those juicy sharks. Boom, there we have 12,500 raw sharks ready to go for cooking. Beautiful. Okay, here we are back at Temperos. We can make our beautiful spirit angler outfit. There we go. So now our setup is very, very nice. We've got the spirit anglers outfit and we've also got a dragon harpoon. We have just achieved level 95 fishing at Tempros. Basically, all I'm doing now is solos because it is a much easier to complete a solo with a dragon harpoon we're getting about 30 permits an hour now so that is much better there is level 96 fishing at tempros i think i'm getting about 80,000 xp an hour i'm not sure though because i'm on mobile this is just based off what calculations i've done myself so for about a month maybe two months i was in australia and my phone just wouldn't connect to runescape i re-downloaded the app i switched my phone off and on i did everything i could but it just gave me this screen for about two months straight so i didn't progress for quite a long time we've just passed 10 million xp in fishing we've only got about 3 million xp left to go and there is a sub eight minute solo kill which is very fast it's about a minute faster than normal so yeah that was a pretty nice kill as you can see we're at about 571 kc and about 270 of those were in mass so we've done quite a few solos and gained quite a lot of permits right it's going to be done i'm going to have to get the harlanders out and i'm going to use these harlanders on my four patches that can die and then on the hosidius patch i'm going to use my more precious herbs like the aventos and whatnot okay so i don't know if you can tell but i am back on my computer here and as you can see we're getting about 90k xp an hour which is very nice and yeah as it stands we are closing in on level 97 fishing so that is it for this episode i'm gonna have to finish it here obviously i'm gonna progress with the account i'm gonna try and stream as much as it as possible but yeah i'm gonna have some more episodes out for you guys very soon hopefully as always thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode we've got some fast 99s coming up we've got cooking and then smithing which i think i'll get done pretty quickly and as always guys thank you for watching and hopefully i will see you in the next episode